Hey guys, I've got a really fun New Year's Eve craft for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these New Year's Eve glasses, and these are going to be a lot of fun for your New Year's Eve celebrations. You can either assemble these with glue or using iron on vinyl, and I'm going to show you both of the ways, so make sure to follow along. And you're going to be able to grab these free SVG files from my blog at svgnation.com, and there is a link in the video description that's going to take you directly there. So once you have those uploaded, go ahead and add them to your canvas. And all of the glasses are going to be grouped together, so just go ahead and click right here to ungroup these. And there's just a little modification that you need to make. These little lines right here that you see like on the little glasses sides, those are score lines just so that you know exactly where to fold on there. Um, so you're just going to go to your operation and change those to score. And then just click on the group with those right there to attach them. I've grouped them all together to make it pretty easy. But there are six different ones of these, so go ahead and do that for all six if you're doing all six designs. So you're just going to click the group that has both of the lines grouped together, change that to score, and then click right here above it where it's got those grouped with the sides and attach. And if you don't have a scoring tool, it's really not that big of a deal. It's really easy to fold these without, so you can just delete all of these lines. And again, there's going to be like six sections of them, so just make sure you get all of those. Um, so let me just finish adding my score lines here and attach. We're almost done here. And so one more time, you know, you're just going to click right here where the two are together and just change those to score and then click right here to select them all and attach. Okay, so these are now ready to cut. Now, if you're doing cardstock, then you're just going to glue all of the pieces on top of each other. Um, or you can use like adhesive vinyl, which is going to be very similar to gluing these, except you're just going to peel them off and stick them on like stickers. Um, or you can use iron on vinyl. And so either way, all of the black layer is going to be your cardstock though. So if you kind of, let's go to make it so you can see like the mats that we're working with. Or right here. So these ones are all going to need to be on cardstock, all of your black layers. Um, the only thing that doesn't have to be on cardstock is right here, Happy New Year. If you want to make that an iron on vinyl instead, then go back here. Um, this is what I'm going to do. And just click on that layer. Where did we find that? Right here. And just change the color of that. I'm going to do a black iron on vinyl, but just so that it's on a different sheet of paper, let me just put that on gray. Okay. I've actually have made both of these versions, um, the cardstock and the iron on vinyl, and I do prefer the iron on vinyl, but I'm going to show you both ways. And if you are doing iron on vinyl, you need to make sure that you mirror the layers that you're doing iron on vinyl and make sure that you do put your iron on vinyl with like this shiny side down on your mat. And then for the cardstock layers, or if you're using adhesive vinyl, there's no need to mirror them. So just make sure that if you are doing the iron on that, you do go ahead and mirror those. And one other thing that you can do, if you notice this puts all of these super close together, you can go in here and kind of spread these out a little bit to make it easier cutting them and separating them. So just kind of, you know, move them around slightly and that's going to help so you don't have to get in those tiny little spaces. And this is all just one big piece that will go on together for the iron on. If you're doing the cardstock, you don't need to move them around because everything is cutting out. So let's go ahead and cut everything so I can show you how to assemble it. So if you are using all cardstock, you're just going to glue your cardstock on top of each other. And for the base of your glasses, which for me I'm using the black cardstock for the base, you're going to want a heavyweight cardstock. And I recommend at least an 80 pound weight cardstock, but really a 100 or even a 110 would be better. Um, or another alternative, if you don't have heavyweight cardstock on hand and you don't have time to get it, you can cut each of these layers twice and then glue them together to make a sturdier layer. Um, but if you're not sure how to assemble these, you can just look at the pictures in Cricut Design Space, um, and that's going to show you where to glue everything down. And there are a lot of smaller pieces, so this is going to take a little time to glue them down. And you may want to actually use your tweezers to help with the smaller pieces. 
But if this is too much gluing for you, then you can use adhesive vinyl instead. And with adhesive vinyl, all you're gonna do is peel the pieces off like stickers and then stick them into place. But another alternative is to use iron-on vinyl. And this is actually the method that I like the best. I feel like they look the best. Um, because everything is lined up perfectly and it was so much easier than gluing everything down and a lot quicker as well. So if you're doing the iron-on method, the first thing you'll need to do after you cut everything out is to go ahead and weed the excess pieces off of your iron-on vinyl. And then once you have that vinyl ready to go, you can begin to attach it to your cardstock. And when you use iron on vinyl with cardstock, you want to use a very low heat. So I'm using my Easy Press Mini, and I have this on the lowest heat that it can go. And I do not recommend using a heavy duty heat press with cardstock. I have not tried applying iron on vinyl to cardstock with anything except for my Easy Press Mini. So I do not know if any other heat press machines are going to work with this method. Um, if you try it out, just make sure you use a very low heat, but I highly recommend using an Easy Press Mini or another small mini heat press for this. Um, but with the Easy Press Mini, all you need to do is press it down for about five seconds. It doesn't take long at all for the iron on vinyl to adhere to the cardstock. And you don't want to press it down too long because this might cause the clear part to stick to your cardstock. So just kind of hold it down for about five seconds and check and see if that worked. If not, you can put it down for just a couple more seconds, but I didn't have the need to have to do it any longer than five seconds for this. And you don't even need to wait for it to cool before you peel the layer off. You can just peel it right off. And when you do have larger designs, you can just kind of slide the mini press around to adhere everything. Whereas normally you wouldn't do this when using fabric, but it works fine for cardstock. Um, so as you can see, the iron-on vinyl method is much quicker, especially like on the glasses that have a bunch of small pieces because you can attach them all together. Um, and you can look at a comparison here of one that I glued and one that I used iron-on vinyl. So they both look great. You really can't go wrong with either method. Um, the only reason they look different is just because the iron-on vinyl looked different than the glitter cardstock that I had, but I love the way both of them turned out. Once your glasses are assembled, all that's left to do is to glue your sides on and you're just going to fold on that little tab line on the pieces and then that's just where you're going to put your glue. And I find that hot glue works best for attaching these. And when you attach them, you're just kind of gluing them around the height for where the glasses sit on your nose, so kind of where that little nose bridge area is. Um, but wherever you glue them, it's going to be fine. Just try to get them aligned around the same spot so they're not lopsided. And if you guys have any questions on how to put these together, you can ask those in the comments and I'll answer them there. And if you make these, make sure that you tag me on social media when you post them because I love seeing your guys' stuff and I love sharing them to my stories. And I really hope you guys all have a fantastic new year. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.